it's me and I'm back with another video so sorry um I'm gonna do an updated Disney questions tag this is probably gonna be my last video for today as you can see I'm tired anyway I'm gonna get started so um I will put the questions down below if you guys are interested in doing this tag and um, I'm gonna get started. Question number one: A scene from Disney that you wish you could experience? Maybe the ballroom scene from when I, from when I mean, from Beauty and the Beast when she's dancing in the with the Beast and I Beast and I could watch them dance. That's probably one of my most all-time favorite scenes because I love how it's computer. The whole scene is like computer computer animated and it's done like beautifully and it looks so realistic and that's what I love about the ballroom scene in Beauty and the Beast is the computer animation makes the entire ballroom look so realistic and not just in an animated picture. Question, uh, question number two, an unforgettable experience moment you had in the parks. Okay, so you guys have probably heard this story from my Make-A-Wish trip. Um, I went to, this is when I was about 14 years old, I went to Disneyland with my mom and my best friend, because it was my Wicked trip, sorry, it's a little bit itchy. Anyway, um, we went to, to, um, Disneyland for part of my make wish trip to meet Amanda Bynes, and, um, we were on the spot, on on the ride Space Mountain. I'm sorry, I'm so tired that I can't talk today. And um, we were, as soon as, I don't know how many, I think like two minutes after we got on the ride, the ride stopped working for like a few minutes. And then, and it's all the lights were off and it was dark. I'm glad I wasn't afraid of the dark. Dark, And I'm lucky we're not hanging upside down. Yeah, I'm lucky we're not, we weren't, I was lucky we weren't hanging upside down and my best friend was yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, we were all lucky that we weren't hanging upside down. So we had to wait a little while. I don't know how long we were waiting. And then the ride went back on. And then after the ride had stopped working for a few minutes, we wanted to go back on. And we had no idea what was wrong. But the second time we went on, it worked completely fine. It was probably, my guess it was probably just a malfunction. It was just really weird, but at the same time, pretty funny. Because we never expected to want to go on after the ride stopped working for a couple minutes. Question number three, non-Disney songs that remind you of Disney and or and the parks. Hmm, let me think. Maybe, um, Let Me Be Your Wings from Thumbelina. Because the same actress who does, um, the voice of Thumbelina. Uh, okay, so let me think. So the main actress who does the voice of Thumbelina, Jody Benson, is um, the same girl who sings Air does Ariel's speaking and singing voice in The Little Mermaid. Question number four. When was your first time you went to the Disney park? I don't know, to be honest. Um, I haven't gone to Disneyland since I was about 14 years old. I think my first time I went was when I was like, how old was I? I don't know, maybe seven or six or five. I don't know. When I was younger, my um, dad used to take me down to, down, I think it's south or something, to go and see my grandparents. And when we go and visit my grandparents, well, these are my dad's parents. Um, I, I can't remember if it was up north or down south. Um, we would go and visit my grandparents, and whenever we visit my grandparents, me, my dad, and my cousin were, used to go to Disneyland a lot, and I had gone there so many times, I can't remember how old I was when I first went. Question number five. If you could choose any Disney character to be your best friend, who would it be? It would probably be Belle, just because I love her love, how she's like so, has a great imagination, and I love her love for reading and stuff. I love her, love for reading and how all those books make her want to have an adventure. 
Number six, who are your favorite Disney princesses? A lot of you guys know if you watch my channel a lot, you know that my favorite princess is Belle. She's one of my, she's actually my most favorite princess just because she loves to read. She's so compassionate. And I like how she's completely unaware of her beauty, which I forgot to mention. I like how she's unaware of her beauty and beauty and she's unaware of other people's appearances. I love how she's able to see past other people's appearances and whom they really are instead of um, how they look. Like, um, she, when she looks into a bee, she sees he has a kind heart. And when she looks into Gaston, he's hands... Okay, so when she looks in the beast, she, beast, he sees... She, she sees he's ugly on the outside, but on the inside she finds he's so kind-hearted. And on Gaston, on the other hand, even though he's handsome on the outside, he is heartless. He is cruel, selfish, and too obsessed with himself. Yeah. And completely full of himself. And that's what I like about her is I like how she doesn't, that's why I would choose, that's why she's one of my favorite princesses just because she's um, unaware of people's appearances and see, can see through them. Number seven, name a scene or a moment in Disney that never fails to make you cry. Well, not, to be honest, not many scenes make me cry anymore, but I remember when I was a kid the scene in The Fox and the Hound, that used to make me cry a lot until I started watching it. Um, where the fox got dropped off, that always made me cry. Yeah. Sorry, I'm yawning so much. I'm just tired. Anyway, yeah, so that was the scene that always made me cry when I was younger, but I don't know. None of, none of the other scenes in Disney ever made me cry except for that scene that I can think of. Number eight, what is the first Disney movie you remember seeing? I really don't know, to be honest, because I have been watching Disney movies since I was a little girl. About probably maybe when I was like, I don't know, maybe my first one was Dumbo. I don't know because... I have watched so many Disney movies throughout my life, I don't even know which one was my first one. I don't even know what my first, to be honest, I have no idea what my first movie was. I've watched so many movies throughout my childhood, I have no idea what my first movie was. Right, so yeah, my guess is probably Dumbo because that was one movie I watched a lot as a little girl. Question number nine, what is your favorite Disney movie? To be honest, I like so many Disney movies that I cannot think of one off the top of my head. Maybe one that stands out. I'm just going to think of the one that stands out to me the most. The one that stands out to me the most is Beauty and the Beast, just because I love the story of how it's like real love and not love at first sight. That's one thing that bugs me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was going to do a top 10, 10 annoyances about the Disney movies. Anyway, um, I just love how it's not love at first sight. So even though I do love a lot of Disney movies, out of all of them, I would just probably pick Beauty and the Beast because it's not love at first sight. And that's what annoys me about the older Disney movies is that they would just fall in love right away. And that was what annoyed me because what is Disney thinking? You don't fall in love right away. It doesn't happen in real life because that's what I feel like Disney's showing the kids nowadays is was showing the kids back then is that you can just fall in love right away. That's and that's not a smart idea because you need to have time to know each other. Each other. I just love how Disney's being a lot smarter on their couples nowadays. What question was that on? Oh yeah, number 10, sorry. Number 10, uh, number 10, what is your favorite villain? Um, my favorite villain is Madame Mim, just because she's not really evil, she's just a crazy nut job. She likes everything bad, and she's not really evil, like she doesn't try to kill a princess or anything, or put a princess in distress. I like how she is not really evil, she just acts all nuts and crazy. I, it just cracks me up. 
Number 11, what is your least favorite Disney movie? My least favorite Disney movie, I bet a lot of you guys know, is Toy Story. Actually, I hate Toy Story. Well, um, my least one would have to be Alice in Wonderland, just because I think it's one of the weaker Disney films, because that's like the most confusing movie for me, because there's like so much going on, I don't even know what the story's about, even if I watch it. Question number 12. What is your favorite Disney song? My favorite Disney song would have to be... Hmm, tale as old as time because it tells the story of Beauty and the Beast being a tale as old as time. And it's true, it is a tale as old as time. That story's been told throughout the years. And uh, years... Okay, so that story's been told throughout years, and I like how a lot of people really like it because it talks about, it teaches kids that you have to look deeper inside of somebody and not their appearance. Here, it's like, for example, like what I said before, if you have someone beautiful, sometimes they can be snobby. If you have someone ugly, they can be really nice. Or if you have someone beautiful, they can be really nice. Or if you have someone handsome, they can be really nice. Yeah, you guys get my point. All right, or they can be a jerk. It depends. Anyway, question number 13. What is your character has your personality? Um, maybe Belle, just because she's strong, smart, stubborn, loves to read, and she's smart enough to outwit jerks. Well, she shares my love for reading. That's what I what I love about Belle, and I like how she looks deeper inside of somebody when she meets them. Question number fourteen: If you could change any scene from a Disney movie, scene in a Disney movie and movie, which one and why? Um, let me think. Oh, that's a tough one. Um. Maybe the scene. Maybe the scene where um. Maybe the scene where Todd's mom dies and the fox and the hound. Hound because it's just depressing because he never gets to know his mom. And stuff and it's really sad because she doesn't um sad because she try even though she tries to protect him she leaves him alone and then she just runs off and dies it's really depressing depressing I just want to change it so that she could get to know her son question number 15 if you could get stuck on any ride in the ride at Disney Park for more than 30 minutes what would it be um, maybe Splash Mountain, because all the animals are so adorable. I don't know. Maybe that's the only, I don't know. I like so many rides at Disneyland, I can't decide. Okay, so that was the updated Disney questions tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any requests, please be sure to go down below and leave them. And I will see you in another video soon. Bye.